In today's video, I'll be discussing the ideal candidate for the Power of Zero retirement approach. Hey folks, I'm David McKnight. The Power of Zero strategy, as outlined in my best-selling book, The Power of Zero, is a powerful way to shield your hard-earned retirement savings from the impact of higher taxes. But how do you know if your financial profile qualifies you for the strategy? Before you can determine if you are a candidate for Power of Zero planning, you must be certain that your investment worldview aligns with the Power of Zero approach. And that begins with the acknowledgement that tax rates in the next 10 years are likely to be dramatically higher than they are today. If you still aren't on board with this thesis, I'd recommend you read The Power of Zero or watch my documentary, The Power of Zero, The Tax Train is Coming, where experts from across the country talk about the national debt as it relates to the future of tax rates. The second step is to acknowledge that in a rising tax rate environment, there's an ideal balance to have in your taxable and tax deferred buckets. And finally, anything above and beyond these ideal balances should be systematically repositioned to tax-free. So to determine if you are an ideal candidate for the Power of Zero paradigm, you need to determine if you have more than the ideal balance in your taxable and tax deferred buckets so that you can shift any surplus amounts to your tax-free bucket. That of course requires that we define what the ideal balances in those first two buckets are. The ideal balance in the taxable bucket is six months worth of basic living expenses. Anything above and beyond that amount should be systematically repositioned to tax-free. Now for the tax deferred bucket. For those without pensions, you want the balance in your tax deferred bucket to be low enough that required minimum distributions at age 72 are equal to or less than your standard deduction and low enough that it does not cause social security taxation. For most Americans without pensions, that balance will be somewhere between three and $400,000. For those that do not have pensions, your ideal balance in your tax deferred bucket will likely be much closer to zero. Remember, your pension counts as provisional income, which will likely cause 85% of your social security to be taxed at your highest marginal tax bracket. When you take your pension and the taxable portion of your social security in retirement, that will consume all of your 10% tax bracket and most of your 12% tax bracket. Any distributions from your IRAs or 401ks will therefore be piled right on top of all that other income and be taxed at the 22% tax rate or whatever the future equivalent of that 22% tax bracket will be. So how do you know if you are the ideal candidate for the power of zero approach? First, if you're fast approaching retirement, simply ask yourself the following question. Are the balances in my taxable and tax deferred bucket greater than the ideal balances I just specified? If so, then you should execute a systematic power of zero style shifting strategy to get those surplus balances repositioned to tax free. Remember, you wanna shift that money slowly enough that you don't rise into a tax bracket that gives you heartburn, but but quickly enough that you get all the heavy lifting done before tax rates go up for good. Tax rates will go up slightly in 2026, but former Comptroller General of the federal government, David Walker, has suggested in his book, Come Back America, that tax rates will have to double by 2030 to keep our country solvent. So I'd say 2030 is the absolute deadline by which you would want to complete your power of zero shifting strategy. If retirement is still a ways off and your balances are currently lower than the ideal balance, as I specified, you must ask yourself the following question. Will my current retirement plan contributions plus a reasonable rate of growth over time put me in a position at retirement where I will have more than the ideal balance in my taxable and tax deferred buckets. If the answer is yes, you want to redirect your retirement plan contributions to your tax-free bucket according to Power of Zero principles. What are Power of Zero principles? You want to have multiple streams of tax-free income, none of which show up on the IRS's radar, but all of which contribute to you being in the 0% tax bracket in retirement. You want to take advantage of every nook and cranny in the IRS tax code. Your Power of Zero strategy may ultimately involve the following six streams of tax-free income. Roth IRA, Roth 401k, Roth conversion, RMDs offset by your standard deduction, a properly structured life insurance retirement plan or LIRP, 
And if you can keep your provisional income low enough, then your Social Security will also be tax-free. In summary, if the balances in your taxable and tax-deferred bucket are greater than the ideal balances I've specified in this video, or if through further growth and contributions, they will be greater than the ideal balances by the time you get to retirement, then you are a candidate for the Power of Zero Retirement Strategy. If you need a hand tailoring your Power of Zero strategy, head on over to davidmcknight.com and click on the Work with David button. I'm happy to lend a hand. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comments section below. I respond to all of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.